Hi guys, welcome to Fallout 4. This is my video of the coastal cottage settlement. Um, the settlement isn't one that I particularly like due to the cottage that can't be removed unless you have mods, um, and I don't really use mods, right? So, uh, you know, you've got this structure in the middle with a hole in the ground and a whole bunch of debris around it, like chairs and containers which you can't actually remove, which is unfortunate because I think it might turn into a nice salon. But anyway, I'm, I'm fairly happy with my attempt this time. I've, I've definitely worked in the settlement a few times and I haven't spent a lot of time, but this time I wanted to see if I could make it uh, reasonably um, nice and a place to stay. And since I'm doing a survival run here, um, you know, I don't really spend too much time in settlements, but you know, I've got some extra time and I'm sort of bored with uh, just the general survival stuff. So. I thought I'd attempt it again. But anyway, this is just a quick overview of what I've done. It might give you some ideas. Feel free to use any of these ideas as your own. Um, um, but yeah, let's get right into it. Right. So, as you can see, um, and if you've watched my previous videos, I'm a big fan of walls around the settlement. It just kind of gives you that kind of uh, border. It allows you to, to determine where your borders are and, and, and give you kind of that closed feel around your settlement. Right. So, generally the first thing I do at any settlement is generally put uh, walls around my border that being concrete uh, which is easier to get or wood right so um, as you can see uh, as we enter into the main entrance here um, this is the, the main sort of workbench area where you start off with um, when I started building the floors and I'll show you this a bit later uh, I started from this this structure here right so I just used started tiling from there and then I just kind of worked outwards right um, this is kind of the main entrance here, a um, bunch of uh, guard towers around uh, just so you can look out. This is kind of where they tend to attack in, in terms of, let's see the kind of on the left, if you're looking at this direction at the settlement, they're coming on the left or the right. So uh, they do actually attack on the door, right? So as you can see, I've just put a whole bunch of deck down, uh, which looks really nice. I'm actually quite happy with the look of it um, uh, so it kind of turned out quite nicely and this this building here I've actually utilized um, the room uh, on the right uh, but above this I've kind of covered it with another deck and again if you watch my videos I'm a big fan of leaving trees in place um, uh, and, and creating some sort of um, kind of uh, an area where people can sit but it also looks kind of natural because it's got the trees it doesn't look plain and you kind of come in and cleared all the trees out and stuff in some cases you're, you you probably want to clear some trees out um, because it just doesn't fit to what you're trying to do uh, we have a death claw there you can kind of shoot from the top deck yeah uh, he actually spawned right next to me inside the settlement the one time I did it um, and uh, it was kind of funny since he shouldn't have been able to get in, period. But anyway, that's what he did, right? So as you can see, we're just above the little house that, um, you know, is, is right here. And I've kind of fenced off the back area just because, you know, you can't really do too much with it. But I suppose if you wanted to, you could put water purifiers and use it for stuff that you don't really need to see in the front, right? Um, so let me just, uh, as you can see, that as you put the deck, some of the deck when you put it around the trees will actually fit perfectly around the trees. It, it actually looks really nice with the trees coming up through the deck. The other one, as you saw at the top, um, uh, you, you just build little fences. I just put these sort of wooden fences around it and it gives you some, some sort of character, right? Um, which is quite nice. So at this area, I haven't really done too much with here because I don't want to actually use the gun trick just yet. Um, but I, I wanted to show you what you could build without any sort of um, exploits or anything. Uh, and this is kind of, you can, you can build quite a bit um, without getting into doing the gun trick or modding and things like that. So, I mean, there's quite a big area that uh, you can work with here, right? So, if you don't want to do the gun trick, uh, you know, you just uh, could scale back a little bit and you can still build quite a lot. I mean, I've got my my food area there, I've got a bar area, I've got a whole bunch of decks, a couple of decks, and I've even got a sleeping area just underneath this one. Um, as, as I mentioned earlier, this is kind of where I started laying the tiles down. Uh, so if you wanted to kind of work outwards, this is what I did. I started here and I just kind of worked outwards and then I, I let it basically form itself, right? So that's kind of what I did, right? Um, and I've, I've sectioned off that little room area and that underground area. And I'll show you, I've, I've kind of put a bed down there just kind of because 
uh, but that's not my main sleeping area and this this is an area created for the just the main bed area uh, for the settlers um, so it kind of turned out pretty nice I'm quite impressed you've got the container there these containers which you couldn't really remove um, but um, yeah I mean it turned out pretty nice I think so you can actually put more walls and more stuff down here once uh, if you decided to do, to do something similar right so uh, make it nicer with with lighting and stuff let me show you this room i haven't put anything in this room but this could be like a little storage area it could be like a bedroom it could be uh you know a bunch of things so i just put a couple of wooden walls to close up the walls and it looks like a pretty decent little room here um you know so i wanted to keep part of that main structure um let me show you that what i've done inside here so i've got a door and then i've got a little room down here so I mean, again i'm not using any mods here this is pretty just standard stuff uh, you can see I've got some concrete walls there, and then I used the metal frame around the area. So, I mean, you could turn this to, to a nice little bunker bedroom, I guess, and put a couple of paintings, I suppose. And uh, the only problem I had was the stairs, so uh, settlers wouldn't be able to get down and up here. The stairs, you kind of have to jump up. Um, I suppose if I spent more time, I could have made it a little... I did try and put some sort of, like, the two-step stairs there, just to try and get it in there, but... Um, it didn't really want to play too nicely there, right? But anyway, it's a nice little bedroom area if you want to do. Create a bedroom for yourself and put some pin paintings on the walls and stuff, right? So, but anyway, that, that's kind of area. So I'm, I'm very happy how it turned out where I could actually cover the area that I really didn't like the most um, and turn it, turn it into something that's visually not too bad, right? So, and that's pretty much it, um, you know? Um, I'm going to be adding other stuff like like turrets and things like at the main entrance as they do come in and uh, start. Uh, for some reason, since I started building it, I started to seem to attack in this settlement a little bit more, even though my defenses are way above my food and water, right? So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please can feel free to continue watching the rest of it. Um, and if you enjoyed the video, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. Thank you. Enjoy.